All right, so um, now for a little example, I'm going to make a brick wall. So let's go to the, let's get this um, bricks function. And as you can see, um, there's not much interesting about this. Oh, let's just uh, get a little linear transformation here. Just uh, so we can see what we're doing because we can't see that much from uh, from this. Um, maybe a little bit less. Let's go for three. All right. Uh, this function only outputs uh, either a zero or a one. So you can change these colors any way you want. You you won't get a very nice texture for a, for your wall. You only get either one value, either one color or another color. So how how you can do this? It's it's actually very simple. Um, you first create a texture that you want on those bricks. I'm just going with a noise texture. I'm going to create it in a minute. And you you also create a texture uh, that will go in between the seams. Uh, that will be the cement. I'm also going to use a noise texture for that. So let's create two noise blocks. And um, let's um, yes, uh, let's get a number here. Before I do that, let me show you what I'm doing. So when I'm creating a texture, I'm, I always have this uh, custom color function, the standard custom color function here, so uh, that, which allows me to best see what I'm doing. And later on, I, I'll just put it into a color box that I like. Um, let's put this one on uh, 0.8. Should be good. Um, all right, so let's um, get the colors going. And for now, I'll just connect this one. All right, so let's um, just make a little reddish, darker red color, maybe like this. And the other one. A little bit lighter, maybe. Some less saturation. I don't know. Yes, maybe a little bit gray, grayish. Mm, maybe a little bit less saturation for this one. And even less for this. Alright, I'm pleased with that. Okay, so this will be inside of this of these uh, bricks. And now for the uh, cement in between. Let's create that one. And for this how I'm going to make a little bit more grainy uh, noise. However, not like this. I'm just going to put it also at 0.8. I'm going to use a linear transformation. Alright, let's uh, put it at 6. Like, like so. Alright, and let's adjust the values. I'm just going to use two different gray scales. It should be good. Okay, now how to combine these. There's a very nice uh, color function for that, and that's called uh, blend. And as you can see, it has two uh, blue. Uh, inputs and one black input. This is um, the black inputs are purely for um, mathematical and numerical val values, and the blue ones are color, color inputs. 
so it's pretty obvious you can uh, put in these um, colors in the blue ones and and this function here now determines how these two are blended so let's add this let's see how it looks and as you can see it's now exactly the opposite of what we wanted so let's uh, switch these blocks and let's blend it like this and there you have it still looks a little bit uh, off maybe and not very realistic um, uh, but you can uh, tweak the values uh, to get something that you like and also something that helps really a lot with making this look realistic is uh, the buff map and to show you um, how that what that can do and uh, let me um, let's just create a pattern for that and let's go with noise again and this will probably be very dramatic no it, it's not dramatic at all actually <laughs> it uh, will be very dramatic if we put this one in the displacement uh, like this as you can see it's very suddenly <laughs> doesn't even resemble a, a cube anymore Uh, so maybe I should explain what these two are. Uh, displacement, what it does is uh, when you are rendering an object, uh, Artifolution automatically divides it up in very small triangles. And what this does is it does a little bit of post um, processing on that, so it displaces all these triangles and these points according to this map and that's very um, um, it takes a lot of uh, processing power so if you want um, your renders to be quick you should not uh, use this because it takes a lot of time however you get very neat results like you what you saw uh, just, just now and Bump height is something that simulates uh, variations in height, but uh, those vari variations are not actually there. So it's more like an illusion, and art evolution um, is like calculating shadows on the surface and uh, shininess and uh, uh, scattering uh, light uh, on reflective, refle reflective surfaces according to the map that you put in here so it's not really there but it gives the illusion of uh, of something being there so um, all right uh, i'll just give an example let's uh, create a high um, noise a little bit higher octave and what I also, what I all always want to do in these blocks, is put a scale shift function in between. It gives gives me more control over what's happening. So as you can see now, it has a more rough look to it. And I'm almost happy with that, but I think it's still too much. So let's put it back to six. No, that doesn't look good. Let's uh, put it to 8 and move this value a little bit down. I think that's okay. And with the scale shift, you can uh, adjust the amplitude. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say I'd, I'd go with 0.9. And by the way, for uh, for bump height, this value has not really doesn't have an uh, impact on uh, what happens. But for instance, if you use uh, specularity or shininess, that will affect uh, have effects. So to make the 
bricks stand out a little bit. Uh, let's just look uh, again at what um, the bricks function does. So when you put this in to the bump height, um, uh, the white values, the ones and the black values, the, wh the white values will be higher than the black values. So um, let's add this in. Let's um, get an operator, a multiply operator, and let's add this. Let's get another scale shift in there. Alright, as you can see now the only the the bricks are have texture in there. Um, which is not what I wanted. Yes, I should uh, use an add. Um, let's go to operator and click add. And let's add these two together. And let's increase this one. And you don't see a very dramatic effect and that's because this is only an illusion and can't really um, make it bigger than it than it is so to speak so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this in the bump map and this I'm going to put this in the displacement and of course this is way too dramatic so let's go with point one I think it's still too much no, that's, uh, that look, looks nice actually. For some reason, it uh, doesn't want to show as a cube, but uh, that's okay. So, I'd say this uh, looks pretty nice. This has uh, been a long tutorial already, so uh, I'm going to uh, wrap this up. In the uh, next tutorial I'm going to discuss the difference between 2D and 3D procedural textures and maybe going a, a little bit more into uh, the cool things you can do with specularity and shininess and transparency and uh, yeah, I'll do that in another tutorial. So um, have fun with this and I'll talk to you later.